Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing good. If you are facing no sound issues after updating to Windows 11 or even after a regular system update, in this video we are going to fix this. Let's start with our first step. Click on this speaker icon and if your speaker is mute from here, just click on it to unmute your speaker. After that, click on this settings icon. Now in this output device, if it's showing multiple options, select the correct one, the correct headphone or the correct speaker. Now move on to the next step, open windows services. So press window key and R together on your keyboard. So this will open the run command. After that, you have to type this command, then click on OK. So this command will open windows services like this. Now you have to search for a service called Windows Audio. So this is the service we need, Windows Audio. First right click on this service, go to properties. After that, in this startup type, make sure the option is selected as automatic. Okay, then click on OK. Now again, right click on this Windows Audio service, then click on restart. So this will restart this particular service, click on restart. After that, you will see this service, a Windows Audio Endpoint Builder. Right click on it. Go to Properties. Make sure the startup type is selected as automatic. Okay. Then click on OK. Then again, right click on this service. Then click on Restart. So you have to restart both the services one by one. That's it. Cut this window and check. Move on to the next step. If you are still getting the same issue, right click on this Windows icon. Then click on this option Device Manager. Now you will see this option, sound, video, expand this option. Now you have to update your audio driver. So right click on the audio driver you have, right click on it, then click on update driver, then click on search automatically. So this will update your audio driver, click on close. Now check, but if you are still getting the same issue, open this device manager again, then right click on your audio driver, then click on uninstall device. Now you have to tick this option, then click on uninstall. After that, immediately restart your system. So this will reinstall your audio driver again. So you can try this method as well. Now move on to the next step. Again, open device manager. So right click on your windows icon, then click on device manager. Now you have to again go to this option, sound and video. Right click on your audio driver, go to properties. After that, click on the second tab driver and if you have this option available rollback driver click on this option so this will roll back your driver to the previous installed driver in the most cases this will fix the issue so you can try this method as well now move on to the next step open control panel so double click on control panel after that in the view by section select small icon or large icon after that Click on this sound option and this will show you this kind of a window. Click on the first tab playback and this will show you your headphone or your speaker. Right click on it, go to properties. After that, go to this advanced tab and you have to uncheck this option. Enable audio enhancement. Uncheck this option, then click on apply, then click on OK, click on OK. Now check, move on to the next step. Right click on this speaker icon. Then click on this option, open volume mixture, click on it. And here you will see this kind of a window. So you have to click on this reset option. So this will reset your sound devices and volumes for all the apps. So click on reset. After that, restart your system and check. But if you are still getting the same issue, the final thing you can do is run the system restore. So for this, you have to open control panel. So double click on control panel. After that, you will see this option recovery. Click on it. Click on this option, open system restore. Click on it. Click on next. So these are the restore points I have in my system. You can also tick this option. Now you have to select the latest restore point you have in your system. You can identify with this date and time column. So select the latest restore point you have in your system. After that, click on next. So this will 
restore your system to the back date and don't worry your data will remain safe so you can apply this method as well so these are the few steps you can apply this is all for the video thank you